have it. Monday. We do Monday. have the press conference wrapping up right now. And uh, boy, I'll, I'll tell you something. It appears that Chattanooga, a city of just 170,000 people, has a police department worthy of, you name it, New York, London, L.A. It was Chattanooga PD who mobilized, you just heard this, without pause and aggressively to take Mohammed Abdulaziz armed with two shotguns, I thought they said two shotguns and a handgun, down amid a barrage of gunfire. The news conference just ending, it was made crystal clear by the U.S. attorney of the Eastern District of Tennessee, this will be an investigation of terrorism. Here's what is still unknown, folks. Was he aided in any way by cohorts here in the U.S. or perhaps overseas? Once again, we turn to former Navy captain and Fox military analyst Captain Chuck Nash. We've got Stephen Yates also in the chair who served in the White House for national security affairs with the U.S. Uh, guys, Ed Reinhold, just of the FBI, revealed something by saying, quote, we don't want to jeopardize what overseas investigators are looking at right now. Captain Nash, can we venture to guess that friendly governments in the Middle East are helping the U.S. right now? Absolutely, uh, especially the Jordanians um, and also the government of Kuwait. Those were the two countries uh, that he is uh, supposed to have traveled to. And we are on very good terms with both of their governments and have excellent contacts in their intelligence communities. Well, that would make sense, Stephen. It was a Jordanian pilot who ISIS burned alive in a cage. And you've got to believe now that certain not psychopathic uh, <clears throat> Middle Eastern countries are at least on our side. But again, we keep hearing the term lone wolf, not during this news conference, but everywhere else. And, and I, I just begin to wonder, when do we start really taking seriously what happened, for example, in Tunisia recently, where a gunman slaughtered 38 tourists at a five star resort. And sure enough, ISIS jumps in and says, hey, we're, we're thrilled. This is glad tidings. That was the quote. Yeah, I think that those two words, lone wolf, need to be banned from use, but they're hard to avoid in some cases. They could be accurate tactically when you're just talking about the act of violence in a particular location, but they're clearly irrelevant in terms of how we get to that act of violence. No one turns radical on their own. They are engaged by an ideology somehow, either through their computer, through their associations, through their travels. And this individual seemed to have had associations, communications, and travel that would all raise red flags. And I trust that authorities, foreign and domestic, are combing over all of that right now. What do we do, Captain Nash? I mean, do we have to start preventing people from traveling to Jordan if they look suspicious? Uh, does this then bring up that big discussion about government intervention, government surveillance? No, what I think what we really need to do, Liz, is we need to start taking this far more seriously than we have. Mm. And I'm not trying to be glib about this, because if you take a look at, at the people that come in and out, the fact that uh, we had people on the foreign terrorist um, uh, watch list and on the um, uh, banned travel list, and here they are working behind the security perimeters in, in our nation's airports. We are not paying attention to this and we're not taking it seriously enough. And I'm wondering just what is it going to take before all of a sudden we wake up and go, oh, my God, we've got to do something about this. We're getting people killed inside this country. Uh, there have been 19 of these attacks on military installations, I believe, since 9-11. Uh, so this is not a random event. And as far as uh, military people being able to carry weapons, mm. if they are cleared in their civilian clothes to have a concealed carry permit in a state, and as soon as they put on their uniform, they have to leave that weapon at home, what sense does that make? we got to stop letting our guard down, period. Uh, that, that is really the point. I mean, the Israelis never let their guard down since the late 1950s. So, Captain Chuck Nash, thank you so much. Stephen Yates, a pleasure to have you. We're going to have much.